So I was doing my favorite thing to do in Ebony, looking through the tavern, looking through the many generals that we have to offer. And I came across this. This general. I've never seen them before. I didn't see any announcement from Ebony announcing their release, so I'm not even sure if they're available yet, but they are a new general. So I decided we're going to revisit the siege video that I did previously because I never included the effective damages for any of that stuff. So I went through, included the effective damages, and ran the numbers on all the generals that I didn't run at the time. So this is going to be my new and updated siege general video. Now let's take a look at the stats that I have gathered. Apologies if my voice sounds a little bit off in this video. I've been sick the last few days and I'm getting over a cold, but we're gonna we're gonna get this video done. All right, here's all the updated stats for all the generals, and let's just go through them all real quick. For Alfred, as we know, he's a mounted, I mean, uh, a ranged and a siege general, with two of twelve of total attack, pretty low HP and defense. He's not a great choice for Siege. He's not a great choice for Archers either, but he is a free general to get being available in the Relics. And you could use him for both if you wished, but I really wouldn't recommend him. Most of the free generals on this list really aren't worth considering. The only one that I would really recommend would be Ulysses. With a 20% march size, that's going to boost his effective damage pretty high. He also has pretty high overall damage with 257. Uh, we can see that only comes second to these two for the free generals, Matthias and Sherman, which they have hardly any march size at all. So overall, Ulysses is going to give us the best return on investment. As far as the HP and defense go for the siege generals, after running some calculations, I don't think the HP and defense is really going to make a huge amount of difference in uh, terms of the round of kills. They're all pretty similar across the board, no matter what you have. So we're primarily going to be focusing on the damage aspect, and when the damage is super close, then we'll use the HP and defense side of things to be more of a tiebreaker in that case. So for the overall free generals, Ulysses is your best choice. He's really the only one you should uh, focus on at all. The ones that are uh, multifaceted, like Guan Gato and Matthias, they're not going to be good as a siege general, and they're not going to be good as a ranged general. So it's really a race of a general to uh, try to multi-spec them for that. Interesting note, Raged King, he's built super weird. He's got trap trigger rate. He's kind of built as a siege general. Some of his stuff is locked behind the attacking clause, so I don't really know what they're trying to do with him. But even if that, his stats are bad across the board, I don't even recommend getting him at all. Now onto the premiums. Patronus seems to be pretty decent. Pretty high overall attack and march size. Pretty nice. Raymundo has a nice attack, but he can't take the march size, I mean the uh, attack book, and his march size overall is pretty low. He does have the highest defense of any ranged general, so there are some situations in which that could be useful, but he has pretty low HP overall. And as we know in most scenarios, HP is going to be the more useful stat than defense. Especially with Siege Machines, since Siege Machines have double the HP that they do for uh, that they do defense. So essentially, this is going to be more like a 340 if we're considering the actual percentages and returns we get. But that's not really how the numbers play out, and that's beside the point. Serena. Uh, overall, average stats across the board. March size is pretty low. Not really any reason to choose him. Roms is the second. Pretty average stats, kind of low HP and defense, no march size that really sets him back. Septimus, uh, 294 attack is pretty decent, 16% march size, so he's a pretty decent attacker. His HP and defense stats aren't terrible. His HP is a little bit low, but not a terrible choice. John Churchill, reasonably high attack. March size, 16% is pretty nice. Decent health and defense, so a pretty solid choice right there. Philip II. 282 and 20%, pretty good attacker, health and defense are decent, 15% rally capacity, so if you're looking for a rally general, him or Churchill with the 20% rally are going to be the ones you're looking at, but either of those are pretty solid options. An interesting one here, Napoleon, 
not Napoleon Prime, the old Napoleon. 262 attack, yeah, a little bit low. Low defense and HP. 16% march size is pretty nice. The 16% march size, though, is locked behind his specialties, which makes him a decent assistant, actually, because you're going to get that 16% march size as an assistant, which, as we look later at the assistants, we're going to see that a lot of them are going to struggle with the march size aspect as assistants. So Napoleon, the normal one, is actually, in my opinion, a pretty viable assistant. Mason Weaver, she also uh, is able to do archers. Uh, if you're looking for a general to do siege and archers, I'd probably recommend Mason Weaver, but she is a premium, so she is pretty difficult to get, and her stats across the board are pretty low. So if you wanted to, she would be the one I'd recommend. However, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Kanyadi, the Siege General that came out a month or so ago. Uh, 346 attack, and I believe I said in my last video that he'll be the best Siege General until they release a new Siege General. I'm going to say that he's probably the best Siege General in Ebony at the moment until they release a new one that's better than him. Which is accurate because... Muji Ying is better than Hanyadi is, so no surprise there. But Hanyadi is still a pretty solid option. We got Palace, the old school go-to. Super high defense, uh, reasonable attack, super high, I mean, uh, reasonable HP, super high attack, and pretty decent march size. All around a very solid choice, and definitely I would recommend her. She also debuffs this enemy siege a little bit. So that's going to be nice for your siege v siege fights. So uh, that's something to watch out for. Edward Teach. Edward Teach is kind of on the line between the premium and the freemium. Because you can get him from one of the events. The general recruit event I believe it is. You uh, get tickets from your daily activities. And then your, uh, your uh, kill event and uh, that stuff. And you can get, once you get, I think it's 300 tickets, you can redeem him. So it's... Uh, it is possible to get him. His health is the second highest overall, and his uh, defense stat is pretty high as well. So he's a pretty tanky general. His attack is pretty nice, but he doesn't have any march size. And that lack of march size is really going to set him back in terms of the effective damage overall. Uh, if you can get him uh, to full five red stars, he's not a bad choice. Not terrible, but I don't think he has any great advantage over Ulysses. I think I'd rather just have Ulysses, to be honest. Cleos is a pretty solid choice. Almost 300 attack. That's pretty good. The highest health of any, so he's probably going to be your go-to if you're looking for a tanky general. Uh, reasonable defense and a 12% march size, so it's pretty solid all-arounder. Zucca, 286 attack. Uh, decent defense, decent HP, and a 20% march size. That makes him a pretty solid choice. And then the new general, Mu Jing. She has the highest attack. The 13% march size, that's pretty decent. That's going to give her a pretty high overall effective attack. Her defense is pretty decent, and the health is not bad. So, not terrible on the defensive side of things, but she's a pretty solid choice overall. Now let's look at the assistants. Now as we know for assistants, the only stats that are active is their base skill, their specialty, and then covenant and skin if they have any at all. Alfred, terrible choice as an assistant. Uh, Ulysses... Not a great choice as an assistant. Uh, really, any of the free generals are not going to be worth it to choose as an assistant. Because you can get one of the free generals. Just getting one copy isn't too hard. And I'd rather just use one of them than use a free general. So let's just skip over the free generals. Raymundo as an assistant. We can see he has the highest defense. Uh, pretty much non-existent health. His attack is pretty decent. And a 6% march size is pretty standard for what you're going to look for the baseline. Uh, Serena, uh, average overall health and uh, defense. Attack is okay, 6% march size. Same story for Ramses, but 0% march size and a little bit lower HP. Septimus, uh, decent overall attack and HP, march size and uh, attack, so not bad. John Churchill, very similar there, slightly less across the board. Philip II. A uh, little, bit, little bit lower than, uh, say, John Churchill. 6% March size. Not really a great choice, but not horrible either. 
Here's the Napoleon, the normal Napoleon. 16% march size. That's going to be the highest you can get for the Siege Assistant. And 72 attack is uh, decent, and that march size is going to help him. However, he has no defensive aspect at all, so be aware of that if you want to go with him. But I don't think the health and defense is super important for the Siege anyways, so it might be worth it to use him just for that. Just be aware that you're probably going to take a little bit more losses than normal. Mason Weaver is an assistant. Not great across the board, pretty low. Hanyadi is an assistant. This is pretty good. He has the highest attack stat. Very nice defense and HP. 0% march size. If he had like a 5% march size or a 6% march size, he'd be a lot better. But still not a terrible choice. He's pretty good. Palace, 116 attack, 6% march size. Super high defense and pretty much non-existent HP. Not a horrible choice. Edward Teach. If you got one copy of him, you might be able to use him as an assistant with 0% march size, pretty high attack, and then his defense and HP aren't terrible, so not a bad choice if you have him, but not the best choice either. Cleos, the highest overall health, pretty decent defense, nice attack and a 12% march size. He's probably going to be your best all-arounder for most situations assistant. Zucka. 55, that's the second highest uh, health stat. Decent for the defense stat. Attack is nice. 6% march size. Not a bad choice. The new general, 130 attack. That's the second highest. But she has the 5% march size, so she's going to give you more effective damage than the Hanyadi is in most situations. She also has uh, decent health and defense stats. So, not a bad choice as an assistant. Now let's look at the effective damage stats because that's really going to be what most of what we're going to be interested in is. These numbers here, these are done in the billions. This first slot is going to be simulating a tier 11 siege bomb. Tier 11 siege v siege. Uh, K33 march, 1200% siege buff. An extra 1.5 march size onto that T11, onto that uh, K33 rally spot. We see the new general Mui Jing is going to give you the most in that situation, followed by Hanyadi, Palace, Zucca, Churchill, and Septimus. Honestly, anybody above Ulysses in this category is going to be pretty uh, a pretty solid option. Anybody below this, I probably wouldn't recommend. We can see down here Mason Weaver, not going to be great as the siege general. Ramses the second, not great. Serena and Napoleon, not great as your lead generals. Edward Teach is barely above Ulysses in this calculation, but if we look at the K40 March, where did he even go? Edward Teach falls way below Ulysses, so I think Ulysses is actually a better general than Edward Teach is. If we look at this, we don't really see a whole lot changing right here. We still have Mu Jing, Palace, Hanyadi, Zucca, Philip Churchill, pretty much the same guys. Raimundo slips a little bit. He falls behind Patronus a little bit. And these calculations, by the way, are done with the uh, the skin and the covenant for them. If they have them, they all include those. So I don't think Remendo is a great choice. Just considering he's a premium and he's right there with Ulysses in terms of damage, I probably wouldn't recommend him. Cleos, right, right on the line with uh, Ulysses. So something to be aware of. Most of these guys are pretty close overall. If you're looking for best in slot, the new general, followed by Palace and Hunyadi, are going to be your best choices. Zucca, very close. And then continuing down. So nothing super interesting here. Siege generals seem to be reasonably well balanced across the board. So I think any of these guys are going to be a pretty solid choice for, uh, for your siege general. Now let's look at the assistants. We could see that the assistance, it really doesn't change a whole lot at all. Going from 4 billion down to 1 billion at the very bottom, that's not a huge range, huge range of uh, difference, considering the stat it goes from 13 down to 7. So, I don't think your choice in assistant is really going to be, it's not going to give you a whole lot of difference. But if you're looking for the best overall, Moijing, Hanyadi, Palace, Raimundo, uh, Cleo, Serena, Septimus, Napoleon here, pretty decent overall. 
but we'll see Napoleon step up a little bit because, as we know, most of his damage comes from the March size, so he'll do better in a K40 situation with tier 15 Siege. As I said earlier, for the assistance, I probably wouldn't recommend any of the free generals, considering how you can just get one of the premium generals, and they're all pretty going to do a pretty much a decent job. Looking at the K40 March is where things get a little bit, a little bit different with the uh, the overall damage, so it's a little bit more important in this situation. Cleos is going to be your highest overall damage assistant, and he is going to be. In most situations, the best assistant that you can get. Moi Jing, very close second place. Very good general. If you have a chance to get her whenever she comes out, I definitely would recommend getting her, even just to use it as an assistant. If you can use her as your main general, you want to put in the money to get those five red stars, she's a solid choice for that. We could see Napoleon comes into third. So as I said earlier, Napoleon is going to be a solid option if you're dealing with more of the higher range siege and larger march sizes. You get more return on that investment. We see Palace, Raymundo. Raymundo performs pretty decent as an assistant. Uh, Hanyadi. Raymundo actually performs better as an assistant than Hanyadi. I don't really think Hanyadi is like the best assistant, but he's not the worst, if you know what I'm saying. Serena coming in, Septimus, Churchill, Zucca. Philip II, and then we're down to the Free General, so anybody down here is not that great. We can see that Edward Teach is down here as a Premium General, down with the Free Generals as well, so yeah, I just don't really recommend Edward Teach. Now let's look at the survivability ratings. Now this is a simulated one troop on one troop, T-15 sieges fighting each other. It's not going to be the same numbers for each situation. It's going to be highly dependent, but this is just going to give you kind of a general idea about how their overall stats stack up for the survivability. And this is for the main general. For the assistant generals, those numbers are so small, we're not really going to see much difference either way. But if it's really important to you, you can just look through the spreadsheet and see which has the highest stats that you're interested in. You see that Cleos is the most survivable, followed by Hanyadi. Edward teaches in third for survivability. But even with this round of kill uh, situation, we can see the difference is not that great. Three rounds to five rounds. And these rounds, these points, they don't matter because they're all going to round up in actual practice. Of course, it's going to be different in different scenarios, and it's going to have amplifying effects over time. But I don't think you're going to see uh, too much practical difference in most scenarios. Palace Zuckus. The new general, Moi Jing Ying, Serena Churchill, Patronus Raimundo, Mason Weaver, Philip II, and then all the free generals. So that's all the overall stats for all the generals and roughly how they're going to perform in most scenarios. So who do y'all think is the best siege general? Who do y'all prefer to use? I'd like to hear y'all's opinions. In my opinion, I don't think the siege generals are really super important to min-max. I think that they're all pretty similar in terms of uh, effective overall stats, and I think you're going to have a pretty good choice if you just choose someone who's in the top 10 overall. But if we're looking, talking about absolute best, I think the new general, Moi Ji Ying, is probably your best choice for in terms of pure damage. She's probably going to be the best for that. As far as assistance go, I think Cleos is probably the best assistant. Napoleon is a pretty good choice. Edward Teach, he he does decent on the survival end, but he's pretty low on the damage. And honestly, I just prefer Ulysses over uh, Edward Teach. For the free generals, I think Ulysses is the only option. I don't think any of the others are really even worth investing in. I think he's the only one that's worth it. And that's all I have for the siege generals for today. If y'all enjoyed the video. Maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll catch you on the next one.